What's going on, chat? Happy BTL Monday episodes. Where are we at, Javon? 425 piece. As always, hold the fry. Joined by your two hosts, Krabs and Javon. Okay, on this beautiful Monday afternoon, presented by Picket Sports. If you're not tracking your bets on Picket Sports, what are you doing? Figure it out. Start holding yourselves accountable and track your action over there on Pickets. Okay, Javon, happy Monday. How was the weekend? Uh, it was weird. I had the flu for like a day, and I just Dude. died. So I don't know what happened, but I'm ready and I'm back. Oh. All right. Back, ready to attack. Could have been the sports books. Trying to take you out. People are saying. Cannot confirm. Cannot confirm. All right. We've got plenty to talk about today. Let's go ahead and recap the squad ride L from Friday. Absolute cake. Disgusting. Terrible. Musha bet. Musha bet. Hand up. I had a lot of those towards the end of the week last week. So I'm uh maybe maybe the flu is getting all those type of bets out. We're ready for this week. Absolute shit wager, if I've ever seen one myself. Disgusting. Yeah. Terrible. Bad. You could call it. Just straight up bad. Bad wager. God, man. Needed some momentum going into the weekend on the ice. Did not get it. No. Yeah. Did not get it. Nope. Um, three, one, and one. We take that from my end. One and four, Javon. I mean. Yeah. Maybe we're doing this right here. Flushing, flushing the toxins. I think Wednesday, Wednesday for or from Wednesday to Friday, no winning sharp reports for me. So we're we're flipping spots from I guess the uh, the week before where I was hot and you were uh, kind of middling. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. We, maybe we have a good week this week. Yeah, let's run it. Why not us? Let's have a great week. Let's have an unbelievable week. Okay, let's bounce back, Javon. I have a, I have a good feeling we're gonna be okay. We're going to bounce yeah. back today with some winners. We've got unbelievable college basketball games left and right. No excuses. Okay, let's go ahead and do the king of the board giveaway and recap from last week. Um, would you look at that? The Lakers won on DeAndre Russell's greatest offensive game in probably five years. Um, absolutely insane. I That's cannot crazy. believe still that, they, that he put on that performance. I mean, I haven't seen him play like that in legitimately four or five years. Insane. Um he absolutely carried the Lakers got a W and of course the crack and loss in the sharp spots. Would you look at that? Sure. Yeah. Shocker. Can't make and it up. I'd won like three or four bets on them in a row. So I mean, it was eventually going to end. Just unfortunate. was that. Cannot make it up. Chat going nuts over Garrett Cole. Obviously his arm is exploding. Maybe they'll get snow. Who knows? Maybe that's why snow pissed with that eye emoji up there a couple of days ago when they reached out and said, Hey, Garrett Cole's cookie. We need another ace. Could hmm. be snow. Would not be shocked if that's the case. We will find out. Okay. Chats. Hey, what's the craziest move you guys have heard today? I know there's been a lot of NFL talk as well, right? Um, what's the craziest thing you guys have heard? Are we expecting anything else later this afternoon to come out? I know free agency doesn't actually open up until uh, Wednesday, I believe. Uh, but the tampering opens up today, whatever that means. I guess teams are allowed to try to make moves right now, even though they've definitely been doing that over the last couple of weeks anyways, you know, behind closed doors, give me a break. Um, and if people are asking what happened to Garrett Cole, a quick Google search would probably solve that solution. But I'll tell you right now, his arm is absolutely fucked. Yep. Yeah. Fucked. Um, and I'm not even making jokes about it. Like, I'm just telling you guys, his arm is kicked. He's not in a good spot. He's getting MRIs. You know, he, he might be the leader of the Yankees and he might be a huge, you know, D-bag. But even I would not root against Garrett Cole. Um, you know, getting hurt, right? You never want to see anybody get hurt. So let's hope this is nothing. But typically when you see this, it's no boy now. Not good. Did you see there's also not like a confirmed injury yet, but Judge is a little banged up too. Well, I can't like tell a, you that. You know, really, really weird, that. really weird comments. Like he's mm -hmm. beat up from like the workload early in the spring is what they said. Like a, yeah, well, you know, they're really weird. stepping up the uh, spring training workload these days. It's really tough on these guys, you know. God, dude, yeah. you can't get through spring training. How are you to get through a season, brother? What are we doing? Yeah, they're already falling apart. God. Mid hey. mid spring beat up. Like, what is that? Uh, no one said that ever. Never heard of that <laughs> in my entire life. I've never nope. seen that. Never heard of that. That's never happened. Nobody's ever said that or thought that ever. What? Only the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> Only them. It's crazy. Mid spring beat up. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's spring. Chill. 
hadn't started yet, and your guys are already hurt and injured. What? That's Murphy Report in 20, W Reminder. W Reminder. Okay. Um, gosh, man, I got a nerfy for you guys, so don't stress. All right, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Okay. Um, and I know why Dan, I know why um Fat Girls is asking me for the nerfy report. <laughs> it's today. coming. It's coming. Yeah, you it's can talk coming. about dudes knows it's coming. Yep. yep. I can't get over the mid spring beat up here. Um no. is that a legitimate, you know, sentence that came out of his mouth that he thought saying out loud other people would understand and believe? It's like when super rich people say some comments that like, you know, normal, you know, middle class people wouldn't even understand or have never dealt with that issue. And they look at them like they have 10 heads. Right. That's kind of like this. You got Aaron Judge. Right. You know, getting ready for the season. And, oh, it's, he's OK. He's just got a little bit of a mid spring beat up here, guys. He's going to take off a couple. Um, he's going to take off Sunday, Monday and, and probably Tuesday here. And, and he'll be back on Wednesday. Just a little big spring beat up here. I've never heard of these words. I've never heard of these ideas. He plays baseball. You stand there and you swing. That's it. That's all you're doing. In the outfield, sure, maybe a light yaw to go grab a fly ball. It's spring training. What are we talking about here? Mid-spring beat up. What a joke. Yeah. Say, say the dude's Gosh, short. man. And you know it's coming. <laughs> God damn it, dudes. Yeah, we'll see. Unbelievable. All right, king of the board. Somehow pulled off a crazy comeback on Friday. Not that crazy, but definitely a little bit of a comeback. Um, anybody who picked a little crab, we can go ahead and give away some coins here, Gates. Yeah. Real quick. Dubs. Whatever yep. crab is looking at you funny. Jake Baird. Sure. Jake Baird. Looking at me funny. W is. He's been around for a minute. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, all right. DM him real quick. Jake Baird, if I you're smell. watching, let me know. All right. <clears throat> Send us your email associated with your prize picks accounts. And we will put some promo in your prize picks. Okay, W's, thank you for dropping a little crab emoji. All right, if you guys want to make some prize picks promo this week, if you're wondering how the hell did he just make that money, how did he do it, right? All you got to do is go to the tweet we just posted on Book at BTL literally less than an hour ago and drop a crab or a milk. And if you end up drop, dropping a crab and I beat Javon once again uh, against all odds, you could potentially win some prize picks promo. But if you're back in Javon to bounce back a little bit today, uh, drop a milk emoji, and you could win some prize picks promo as well. Javon, how are we feeling entering this week? You said you were a little sick over the weekend. Uh, can I get a healthy percentage here? Are you 80%, 90%? How are we feeling? If people need to know. They deserve it, you know, if they're going to be betting on you here. Probably around about 75 this okay. point. But All right. Should be pretty, you know, close to 100% by the end of the week. Yeah, can be, give me 100% by tomorrow, and I'll be wow. straight. I'll be good. Okay, no Aaron Judge, three days off. Uh, during spring training. Okay. No. Right back to business after day 10. Love it. Yeah. All right. A lot of weird shit happening in chats. W updates here. Um, Pollard going to the Titans. Okay. Saw that. I think we got a couple sub bangs too. Ooh, I got to get the subs pulled up. What are we doing? W is. Um, who's dropping subbies out here? Who did it? Show yourselves in chat. I want to see names. Who's doing it? Um, Looks like we've got Get Busy Dizzy coming in hot with some subbies. We got Devin coming in, dropping subbies. We got Snacks right. giving out a 10 U whale. Snacks. You're just sitting there in chat right now after dropping a 10 piece? W10 like you did you nothing? Guy. Snacks, brother. Was that for the Mount Meltdown this weekend? You feel bad? I know you were on the Mount this weekend, Snacks. Don't lie. I know you were. It's okay. They absolutely blew it. Can't make it up. Um, fat girls also dropping some subbies 18 months of my goat spoon feeding me ron mox dropping subbies as well jay prue holy smokes the boys are out today let's go up and active wow all right boys hype train has been activated love to see it all right let's keep moving let's keep grooving get those damn crabs get those milk emojis dropped under this tweet asap hurry up go 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 all right if you want to win some prize picks promo, if you think I'm going to beat Javon this week, drop a crab. If you think Javon's going to take it away and bounce back, drop a little milk. All right? Figure it out. Hurry up. I'm getting this panel set up here for the Twitch. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Dubs. Dubs, dubs, dubs. What else we got today, dudes? No steam crabs. All right. The bets did okay this weekend. Um, do we want to go right into the shark report or should we allow fat girls request here and go over the nerfies and the airfies? I guess we could do two birds, one stone. 
Hmm. I guess the answer would be yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, because it would encompass both. We can do both. All right. Because I do have a play on my sharp report sheet. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. We could talk about Jose. We could talk about Jose if you guys want. I mean, I feel bad for the guy, right? You call out him being a piece of shit. And next thing you know, the guy's kicked off his 15. Um, you know, it's probably the coach as well. Um, we know he's a huge asshole. We know Perez is an asshole. You put those guys together on a losing team. What happens? Probably some crazy fights going on in the back end, right? Um, probably could have told you that Perez at Arizona State wouldn't work out. That sentence just does not sound successful to me. Jose Perez at Arizona State. Uh, it sucks because the guy was playing his best ball of the season down the stretch. I mean, I, I'll cut the shit, right? I like to fade the guy, but he was playing great <laughs> down the stretch. I mean, he was <laughs> driving to the rack. He was even making some threes. Um, Jose Perez, you better learn Chinese, buddy, because you're literally – that's the only place you're going to be able to get play is over in China now after quitting the team midseason on your fifth college basketball squad. Not four. Not three, not two, five. five, one every year. Crazy. Probably a red flag, right? You five think. teams in five years. Or he might get drafted to the Wizards. It's like the guy who, what is his fucking name, dudes? Oh, I got to look it up. It's Patrick something. I forget his last name on the Wizards, but he's rookie Ball or one. second year. Oh, he was a stud in college, but then he was kind of a piece of shit. Patrick B. Baldwin. B. Baldwin, yes, dude. Remember, he was supposed to be a stud in college. I think he played at some mid major and then he never ended up even like playing because he was hurt all the time. And yeah. He just declared for the draft. Yeah. Jose Perez was like that guy, but on steroids. Sure. Um, man, he was playing his best ball down the stretch. He was a greened out chart on prize picks when he hung him up. You can't make it up, Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. What time. a run from Perez, man. What a run. I mean, this is how you hang him up from college. And maybe he has, I mean, who maybe he has another year of eligibility. They hand those things out like hotcakes these days. I don't fucking know. Maybe he has a COVID year. Wouldn't be shocked to see Jose Perez pop up somewhere else uh, for a sixth year. Sure. Why not? Yeah, did but you... yeah, the guy's, the guy's going to be going and playing overseas. I mean, look, he's got the talent to do it. He's got the size to do it. He's a thick boy, right? So those are the kind of guys that succeed over there, I feel like, because nobody else over there has any size. Um so he, he could definitely go over there and play overseas and have some success. And he's probably going to do that and make some coins. So he'll be okay. But yes, yeah. literally cannot let this go unnoticed here, Javon. Kind of faded him into retirement a little bit. Kind of did. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. People and, are saying and, maybe he was seeing the tweets. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. But uh, Perez beat crabs and then he hung him up. <laughs> That's literally, that was his only purpose in life is to beat crabs. He said, I got one more thing I got to do before I hang him up, folks. <laughs> I got to take crabs as prize picks, Corns. Crazy. And he did. He did. It, it, only one way to go out when I took him again over the weekend and then find out 10 minutes before a tip that he's no longer on the team. Yep. Can't make it up. Speak, speaking of eligibility, did you see that Drew Pine has five years left of eligibility? Like, how's that even possible? Yeah. Like, can what? That, I feel like that's just not true. Yeah. Uh, I saw that tweet. Last night, that can't be true, though, Gates, right? I feel like that guy's been around for five years already. I know. He was you with know? Notre Dame for like two years and then transferred to Bama. Or no, it wasn't Bama. Yeah. He went to Arizona State. It was Tyler Bush that went to Bama. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that's possible. Is it three? Might be mm. three. Still. I don't, I don't three know. Three years how. left. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's still insane. Yeah. Like, what are we doing out here? That is still insane. Speaking of insane, can we go to the Nerfies and the Yerfies, please, real quick on prize picks? We need to show the people apply. We got to play, folks. Javon. Has to be done. Yeah, it just might have to be done. Has to be done today. Um, look, they don't put Patrick Corbin and Miles Mikolas, you know, Nerfies up every day, right? Because this probably shouldn't be up. That looks like the freest Yerfie on the boards. But then you go over and take a gander at the total. You see it's the lowest one of the day at eight. Ooh. What the hell is this total at eight? Uh, probably because these guys are going to absolutely shove out of their minds this afternoon. Probably because these offenses can't fucking hit a ball out of the infield right now. Mm -hmm. Besides one guy, James Wood. Besides yeah. him, I mean, look, if James Wood hits a first inning nuke here, if, he, if he's playing today, I'll chalk it. It's a win-win for me, okay? Uh, but I'll take that risk. No one else can hit the ball out of the fucking infield right now. Okay, there are, Nats offense already in midseason form. Dylan Cruz had a three-strikeout game the other day. We picked the wrong one. It was always Lankford. I can already tell. We're fucked. All right? 
This offense can't score, and Patrick Corbin with that new cutter is looking pretty sharp. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was. I'm yeah. not kidding. He struck up the side in his last outing. I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again against these Musha cards. Javon, any thoughts on the nerfy between Patrick Corbin and Miles Mikolas? It may or may not be my favorite prize pick square on the Sharp Report. So I know it's it's Corbin. So I'm totally in. You've had a you've been the nerfy Sharp. I looked, took a quick scroll through the board today, and there were two totals that looked alarmingly low, and it was the two squares that are right next to each other, which you're getting seven and a half in Corbin Mikolas and Falter Criswell, which is crazy. So I figured we were going to see one of those, and I assumed that Corbin was going to be the one. So I mean, it just doesn't make sense. I'll be completely transparent here. Unless they have uh, the School of the Blind filling in, you know, in the back end of that lineup. It doesn't make any sense, Javon. Yeah, it's a little weird. Seven and a half total with Mikolas. I mean, look, Corbin's been nails. So maybe that's what, maybe we're getting some respect. Maybe, you know, the books are hip. Corbin's actually back. And Patty Ice has got to be an absolute, you know, you know, front end starter this season. Who knows? Could be. Could be the difference. Yeah. Or that's just the worst line of all time. And we're going to see them get absolutely roped in the first inning. And this will be the worst square ever. I'm willing to take that risk. I will. Yeah. Um, because that total's low as heck, and Corbin's look great. How has Mikolas looked? I could not tell you that off the top of my head. Chat? Anybody know how Mikolas <laughs> has looked? Corbin sub five ERA loading. Yeah, you guys see that square up this weekend? That's hilarious, bro. Unbelievable. Let's see, Let's see what Miles Mikolas has been doing. Probably not good. He's had two starts. He's been solid. Okay. Solid. Six innings. Mm. Six innings, one run, and two of the starts. Six innings, one run we can work with. Yeah. Surely. Hmm. All right. Well, are we taking those two nerfies together? Or are we pairing it with something else? Is there a square that you really like today? There is, but it's a very popular square. So I figured you'd probably want to keep yourself on the nerfy board now. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, a two-piece with Falter, Cooper Criswell, and Patrick Corbin and Miles Mikolas, if that hit should pay out 50x. Uh, it 100% should. It should pay out 50x, right? Yeah, it or you can, pair, you can pair with Jordan half a stolen base. Dude. Yeah, for the season? Yeah. No. Hilarious. That is a weird – that's weird they're putting that up. That's almost so like funny. Game. So yeah. funny. Chad, I don't know. Jordan, yeah, let's have a week. W, get busy, Dizzy. There we go. Didn't see that comment there. Love to see that. Um, all right, I'm going to take the two nerfies. Fuck it. We're going to take Falter and Cooper Criswell. The fact that that nerfies even up is ridiculous. I mean, give me a break. Crazy. I know it's Boston and Pitt. Their offenses stink. Don't care. That's an absurd uh, combo right there. And then Patrick Corbin and Miles Mikolas, that's already locked. Has to be done. Has uh, to we'll be. take both those nerfies and go about our day. All right, chat. Two nerfies hold the fry, two weird low totals with some crummy pitchers up there. But for some reason, these totals are at seven and a half, eight. There's just been no runs in the spring training recently. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think we're getting two nerfies from two of the nasty squares in the board. Okay. If you had to take one, though, chat, if you're looking to just take one, you know what you have to do. You know what you have to do. Have to. How do you see? Miles Mikolas. Lock that shit in. Dubs. All right, I'm going to put 500 on it. Sick person. Yep. 500 to win 1,500 on that two-piece. Okay. Goots, get that goddamn Simicast ready or whatever it's called, MLB Gamecast. We might need it. We might need Definitely it. Definitely going to need it. We got a leak Gambino coming in hot with a resub. Let's have a week. Why not us? Why not us? I love I love that elite Gambino. W's. We have a hype train rolling as well, Javon. Love to see it. Didn't we agree on no more spring training bets? I did not agree on shits. I've been just yeah. absolutely smacking spring training bets left and right. And people who are not tailing are losing out on coins. Can't be other any other way. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, that's it is what it is. Like, absolutely on fire. Like, I think a four-game nerfy, yearfy win streak here that we have to take into today. What yeah. kind of man would I be if I just left that at the door? Yeah, you can't, just, you can't stop the nerfy streak while you're hot. 
What kind of name would I be if I tried to weasel out of that one, not say anything about it, not bring it up and just leave it at the door and not, you know, have it be a part of our BTL show today as we've been on a four game hot streak. Got to. I'd be a weasel. It's no choice. I'd literally be a weasel or a ferret trying to sneak away. Nobody wants to be a weasel or a ferret. Come on. We're fucking lines around here. Chat. We put our nerfies in publicly in front of thousands. That's what we do. Okay. <laughs> We're going to keep doing it. Crabs, no boo nerfie challenge. Nope. No, no boo nerfies. Just winners. No stupid challenges. Just W's and just bets that hit. It really is just that simple. People try to get too cute these days. We're just going to hit bets. That's what we're going to do. We're, we're do today, Javon. Let's go ahead and hop over to the Sharp Report and show the people what we're liking on this Monday slate. A lot of crummy college basketball matchups. A lot of, you know, very important college ma- college basketball matchups, though, as well, Javon. A lot of tournaments kicking off today or, you know, halfway done or even some championships coming up. We're going to talk about it. All right. At first, I want to go over Towson here in the first half. This is a quick get in, get out look. And I'll be honest with you, Javon, these are not, you know, five absolute donkey whales for the kids. I am not in love with the slate today. Maybe that's a good yeah, thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. Kind of with you. Know. Kind yeah, of with the slate you. today, it's 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 gross. Okay, it's gross. It is what it is. I want to put that out there. Are records, it, it's gross. Okay, and yeah, there's no San Fran on here. It is what it is. We'll talk about all this chat, so stick with us. Okay, but I got to start you with Towson against College of Trust. Look, College of Charleston probably going to sneak through this tourney and find a way to go to March Madness, as they should. Pat Kelsey, great coach, coach of the year in this conference, you know, building that program out from the ground. Impressive. And they're on fire right now, playing some of their best basketball this season. They're a winning and covering machine, uh, winning and covering five of their last games, Javon. But don't let Towson, you know, ruin their vibes or come in here and fuck this up. I think the Tigers and their defense and their athletic ability, um, you know, come to play in D.C., much closer to Baltimore there. There'll be more of a home crowd for the Towson Tigers and that fan base um, to, you know, get, get loud and keep this game weird and close in the first half. Um, Get in, get out. Nothing crazy here. Not going to take Charleston down the stretch. I've already seen it. Rain Smith and this team coming back down late. Um, And College of Charleston wins by a handful and ends up advancing. But uh, I'm not going to take a stab at College of Charleston, you know, full game here. I think this game is actually close and they'll be losing down the stretch and this Towson squad that is very well coached, very disciplined for a young squad that has mainly freshmen and sophomores and most importantly, extremely athletic and they can keep up with the Cougs. I like Towson, you know, almost on their home court, close to home here uh, to keep this game very, very close until halftime. Get in, get out. I'm with that. I figured I'd see Towson in your card or on your card and somehow, some way, somehow, some way. I think they make it tough. I'm kind of with you. Had to be. Had to be. Yeah. Um, What do you got? Gross, gross play on New Orleans plus eight and a half, which I've talked about a little bit. I kind of like Lamar, Lamar in this tournament to make stuff interesting, but this is one game that concerned me a little bit, partially because they beat the brakes off of him the first two times Lamar mm-hmm. did in the season, and that was when they took like advantage of really tough spots because New Orleans has been dealing with a lot of injuries throughout the season, which is why they're so bad, and this is probably the healthiest they've been to this point. Uh, especially with a couple of their bigs, which they're going to have Jackson Glisson in there today, which is a bit of a difference. They're both going to play major minutes in both of those games. One of them was missing and or in foul trouble, uh, which led to Lamar getting pretty much anything they wanted at the rim. So, like, uh, I've seen New Orleans play a little bit better over the past couple of weeks where they've gotten guys back and definitely been a little better on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, so I think this is going to be a game that comes down to the last possession, and it's probably going to be no, no in between. It's probably 75-25 last possession versus they lose by 20 again like they did twice in the regular season. But I'm going to take my shot. I think this is a really weird matchup for Lamar to be in, and it's going to be a, a pretty weird game to watch, I think. Yeah, you know, a little bit surprised to hear that considering, um, you know, you were pretty high on Lamar making moves in this tourney coming up. Yeah, uh, I think they guys... win, but I think they keep it okay. close. Keep, they win, but not by a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, chat, we are going to release or record, sorry, a, uh, you know, Power 5, Power 6, plus the big mid majors, college basketball pods, probably later tonight. Um, but we do have an MLB pod that got released late last night. Goots was absolutely grinding, typing away, getting that puppy uploaded. Shout out Nick as well, getting that thing uploaded. Um, if you guys are interested in the AL or NL Central, and what's going on over there? If you guys like hearing P.O.D. Pete and the Just Baseball guys, 
talking some ball. Uh, I will say Petey Pete knows a lot about baseball. It's very fun talking, um, you know, about the sport with him. And along with Javon, I was almost just the host uh, in, in that podcast, which is how it should be here. Um, getting the boys' thoughts on these two squads or these two divisions uh, as we're about, what, two and a half weeks away from opening day? Holy shit. It's about to be yeah, here. Not for us. Um, you can watch it on YouTube, guys. At least go and please drop a like, will you? We'll drop the link right here in queue. All right. Here's a link. Please go give it a look. Go give it a like on the YouTubes. And if you want to listen to it on Spotify or Apple Music, the links are right up here. All right. Go check it out. Do me a favor and just press play, will you? Even if you're not watching today, I know you guys have BTL you're locked into, but go over there right now before you forget and please press play. Thank you, guys. Dubs. I listened and got way smarter. Sure you did, Chet. I'd love to hear that. Good. I think I did too as well when I was hosting that pod. So we'll run two more. Rumor has it we might even get Trent on for the West at the end of the week if we're talking. Stay posted on that one, chat. All right. We got a leak Gambino coming in hot. Let's have a week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 28 months sub bang. Love to see that. All right. Let me take you to the nastiest play on the college basketball board today, folks. Arkansas State against JMU. It's JMU's year. Don't get me wrong. Um, but they're in for some trouble here. They're in for some trouble here, Javon, and they've got some work to do. They've mm -hmm. got to go through an Arkansas State team that I've been pretty high on since the beginning of the season. All they've done is pulled off upsets. And right now, they're hot again. They've been very streaky all year, and right now, I would not want to play this Arkansas State team. Uh, they just beat an App State team 67-65, and an impressive, insanely impressive win, um, Javon, against that App State squad that's built like brick shit houses. I mean, they're absolutely yucked. Everyone on App State is like the rock. They're all just absolutely fucking jacked. And they're like the most built team in college basketball. It's crazy. And we just saw a, uh, you could probably say pretty much the opposite type of team. Arkansas State here likes to fucking jack shots uh, and make plays on offense. Just beat them. Insanely impressive. And now we got to see an Arkansas State team take down JMU, who has been winning, not covering, but they've been winning. Um, and this Arkansas State team found a way to pull out a five-point win against Texas State, who's a sketchy team to play as well in their last contest. I think this game will be very similar tonight against Arkansas State. I think Arkansas State will be winning this game at times, just like JMU was losing in their last contest and pulled out a close five-point win against Texas State. Very similar vibes against Arkansas State tonight, and I think they keep it close. Love the spread coming down from plus seven to plus five and a half. Guys, do not sleep on the squats. Arkansas State is going to keep this within two buckets. I love the spread. Probably my favorite college basketball play of the day. That just feels like a a Drake Indiana State game, which shout out to that yeah. game. That was if you didn't watch that game yesterday, I, I don't know what you're doing, but that feels like one of those games where it's just gonna be insane electric finish. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of with you. Flyer Faithful, man. I love to agree. And yes, they do have some old heads on that team. But can you remind me when's the last time JMU's gone to March Madness? Anybody know? When's the last time JMU has gone to the tournament? I'm waiting. Chat. Oh, that's right. They have it. They don't. Okay. And they're going to be extra nervous in this game, just like they were the other night when they could barely beat Texas State. Now they got a very high tempo Arkansas State squad that can put up some points and beat anybody they got to beat and go through. It's going to be close. They might do it. Look, I love this JME team. We talked about it on the pods. Uh, this team, it's squad of destiny in the Sun Belt, Javon. But that doesn't mean they're automatic W, you know, to get through Arkansas State and Texas State, two scrappy squads. You know, one, a former dynasty in that uh, conference. And the other, you know, kind of an up-and-coming squad that nobody expected to be good, but has had some really good games and upsets this season. Do not sleep on Arkansas State, guys. They will keep this game close. Should be Don't close. Have to. Yep. Lead off single for Abrams. GG. And it's over. Can't get And it's over. Can't make it up. And it's over, folks. God damn it. He's too good, folks. In play outs. Flies out to left field get that ball in before cj abrams advances he's quick all right one down guys man cj abrams is like that yeah yes he's a lot him. of ground ball singles from the kid that's what we need darnell cole's legacies i mean you, you do have you do have the rollover double play king at the plate right now we do who by the way has been having a pretty good spring yeah he's actually looked kind of getting close to 300 washed. Getting yeah. close to 300. I mean, it's his last chance, so he better not be washed. And that's meat. <laughs> that's absolute meat. What was that first pitch? Yeah. Jesus. 
A dog. Hey, you winker, bro. It could be your second home run in the last 365 days. If you swing and take that ball, yeah, yeah. Yeah, naturally struggling with power this year, Javon. Let's go ahead and bring in Jesse Winker. That should help. He's got one home run last year. Um, that should Jesse change everything. Winker. Yeah, I mean, they're not a, not a team that's looking to compete, so they thought Gallo was enough. They do have Senzel, too. Senzel could be a little power spark plug at times. Senzel looks like shit. Yeah, but he always is going to look like shit. He's a, he's a lefty specialist. He's only getting righty ABs in the, the spring. Or I guess since Senzel really, looks like shit, man. They're really not I'm playing for anything. I mean, he's not very good. There's a reason why he was. I mean, he looks terrible out there. They were quick to let him walk in Cincy. Hey, we got two. There we go. We got two. Two down. Two. All right. Come on. Make a play. Who do we got up now? Mr. Gallo. Sure. Gallo. Well, this should go well. Yeah, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be unfortunate? Who's pitching? Nicholas still? Oh god. Yeah, Nicholas. Still got Michaelis. Oh god. See, this is where it gets sketchy because Gallo could run into one here. Maybe two outs right. for two outs for Criswell as well. No way. Mm-hmm. I already chalked that one up as an L. Uh, I was I mean, expecting yeah, just terrible updates from that game. That one's probably the the nastier seems much tougher one. So we'll see. You're how looking that all right right now. Looking okay. Yeah, for now. Well, for now. Jinx it there, Gates. But yes, good work. I'm just giving updates. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Gates. Careful what you say. They're listening. Called strike. T. Ooh, they did immediately get Barry Bonds out too. Shout out Criswell. What the hell was wrong with that pitch, Jelly? Is that one? Was it two down the middle for you, Jelly? Yeah, you didn't, didn't like that one. You didn't like that one, Jelly? First pitch, right up the fucking dick. A curveball too, I right zone. at the top of the zone. You didn't like Jelly? My fucking Mima could hit that ball three fifty to right center, and you're there he's, looking at it. He's hunting fastballs, and that's a great pitch there. Finish him. Hate to say it, but finish him. Has to be done. Must. <sighs> Come on. And we've got two outs, one two count, man on first. Cannot have any doubles because Ad Abrams will score. All right. Uh, one two count, chat, two outs. Here's the pitch. And Mikolas is taking a sweet time up there. You guys know that. That mean, yeah. And the pitch. Pitch clock's got to go. be got to be expired by now. This could mean that it's a home run, that it's taken this, this be, long. This could be a bad yeah. pause. This could be a home run. We got real exclusiveness coming in with a resub. Might as well shout this out all the way for this pitch and this home run to pop up. 14 months riding with you guys. The squad has been placed daily for at least eight months straight. W's. Let's go. Real, real exclusiveness. Love to hear that, my man. Appreciate you, Talon. Yeah, if you're not hip to the squad ride, get your buddies hip too. Okay, it looks like we've got a pitch. No, we got pick pick off. off. We got a pick off, folks. Yep. <laughs> That's an ass for you. W two strike, two out pick cap, off. Dude. I had that in my cap actually for that square. So love to see that. Um gosh, man, I was reading up yesterday about Luis Garcia, who's been hitting the ball great, but he's gotten picked off multiple times this spring. Got picked off again last night. Davy Martinez uh talked about it in the postgame presser and said, We just can't do that. No shit, Davy. Cut these guys. Sure. They don't learn. They do this, it, it, they get on the base pass and they forget how to play baseball. Yeah. They I mean, literally they got, forget how to play baseball. Got to score somehow. Oh, I'm all for being aggressive and stealing with your fast guys, but this team has gotten picked off more than any other squad probably combined in the National League over the last so two tough. years. It's really bad. Shit. Goods, there's no fucking way we get through both these plays. There's no chance, Goods. There's such a small chance. There's no chance we wiggle out of both of these nerfies. <laughs> Six more outs, There's no chance. Six got more. Bailey, Bailey Falter and We're Patrick halfway Corbin. there. I mean, that's, that's, in. that's disgusting. Yeah, we just got to get through Patrick Corbin and Bailey Falter. Uh, yeah. Six outs, right? We got Nine's. through We got through okay. the two easier halves of the inning. W's. Sub bangs. W's. We got Godley coming in hot. Back, subbed. Let's bang. Yes, sir, Godley. Love to see that. That's heart. Two words. Art. Love to see it. Um, any real plays for today or is the stream caked? Yes, Falser. Um, we do have a sharp report that we're going to go over. But we're also going to sweat out this nerfing. 
All right. I don't really care if you don't want to. We're going to do it. I'm doing this for like two weeks now. We can We're quit do the bitching it. and get over it. We're going to do it. <laughs> ETL is turning to crabs bitching about his Washington team show. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to keep bitching out. about him. It's Let's just get another out. It's always been like that. Yeah. When has it not been like that, dude? It's been yeah, like that yeah, since I was standing up in my kitchen. Literally. We got one out. All right. Here we go. Well, we got a lead off base runner and wherever Patrick Corbin's pitching. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Lock the fuck in. Gates, that's on you for going to that other game. We can't get caught here. <laughs> All right. Stay cocked. We can't get cocky here. We can't leave. What are we thinking leaving Corbin? Yeah. Come on. That was All right. That's guy. me. 85 oh, down the deck. Holy smokes. And we got the full me? we got the full Goldie Gorman Arenado mother. Put your seatbelts on, chat. This one could be a bumpy ride. Okay. Who has that damn nerfy slip in an entry? All right. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did sneak tail a two-piece with the Corbin and the Mikolas, along with Jalen Duran more than PRI. I took the cool. two-piece with the Corbin Mikolas, Falter, Criswell, two less sense. Okay. Jesus, Corbin, where the fuck did that one go? I thought Damn. I thought that cutter was supposed to be good, Krabs. <laughs> I said he had a new cutter. I didn't say it was good. Cutter uh, at his head. Well, you went from we're not making the playoffs and nuking the under, and then to he almost cut his head off their, with their that wild fucking card pitch. Spot. Goodness gracious! Uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, I did tail that Corbin, uh, Mikolas, Falter, Criswell, uh, four piece, four guys are there. I guess a two piece though. I did take the Corbin and Mikolas one with Duran as well. So I took that one twice. I double dipped. You guys know what's about to happen. Okay, here come the runs. Oh, Goldie. Here come the runs, folks. Goldie is literally king thief of coins. Here come the runs, folks. This oh, we got a five U whale. Number one to Jen. Holy smokes. Let's go. Number one to Jen coming in hot with a five U whale. Love that. Number one. Let me know what you're betting today, brother. Let me know what you're trying to bet, what games you're looking at. If you have any locks already, let me know. Two down. Two down. Two down. Two down. Two down. Two down. I mean, that might be the easiest fucking nerf to ever exist. Crabs, you know we don't say that with two outs, man. I said it. We know we don't say that with two outs. I'm stressed out about this nerfy that matters. I, I said it. It's left. Okay? It is what it is. We move on. It happens. It happens. I'm not happy about it either, but it did. We're here. And Corbin's got 700 pitches in this at bat, and Goldschmidt is not going down without a fight. Yeah, this is Goldie and Trent. What are they acting like this is the fucking Game 7 of the World Series? Why do they have their all-star lineup today against Corbin? What do they need to prove? You got to get guys some ABs against bad Another practice. foul ball. I mean, Corbin's arm's going to fall off before yeah. the end of this inning. We did get did get a 1-2-3 in Pittsburgh-Boston, so that's huge. <laughs> Taking that as my contribution to that entry. Let's go. There you go, Javon. Good work. Hard. Good work. That was we... probably the grossest square on the board. Yeah. Yeah, that was. But we need mm. Goldie. Goldie to get out of trench warfare here. Oh, pick off attempt. Yep, that'll help. We're on pitch eight of the AB and we're throwing to first, Patty. He's not locked. Dude, he's so he's not locked. locked, dude. Hey, 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 chat, stick with us. We've got Sharp Report plays around the corner for now. I mean, give it up, Goldie. Dude, this is just setting up for a turkey, dude. Give it up, Goldie. Seriously, bro. Give me a fantastic looking roll. Enough is enough. Right to CJ Abrams. Dave Davis to the Jags. Wow. Ooh. Wow. It's a big move. Huh. Come on, chat. Now be a good time to pull out that new sinker. In play, oh, no out. Yeah, oh, nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's, a Hang that's a home run. That's a home run. No runs. Yep. No home runs, but definitely cake. Definitely probably a home run, maybe 400 feet. <laughs> uh, double. And GD. Why? Why do I do it? Goldie. Why do I do it? All right, time to strike out the side, Corbin. What do you say? We got a lefty up. 
Yeah, if Corbin, if Corbin gets out of this, he might be goat whale material. Paint. I'm going to say it. Paint. Hey, let's see him go to work. I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Season hasn't started yet. Jesus He's Christ. already Christ. losing coin on Corbin. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised our catcher fucking blocked that one. You caber see on at the dish today. I would be surprised if that was Caber making that block. I'm assuming that was Austin Riley. Oh, was Riley Caber. Adams. Was Riley Caber. Adams. Let's go, Caber. Shockingly. Apparently, he's working on a new frame. I mean, that's a fucking dart. There we go. Look at that cutter. Cutter. Look at that cutter cutting. The cutter. Look at that cutter cutting, chat. The live that well. new Watch out. Nothing like an 83 mile an hour cutter. Take the edge off, huh? Yeah, that could be the difference. <laughs> Chat lock in. We have not talked about the Garrett Cole injury news. All we've talked about is his nerfing. Oh, and we've got a strikeout. Take a one. seat. Life. Life. Take a seat. Take a seat, but Nolan Gorman. Who in chat here. said Nolan Gorman was good? He just struck out to freaking Patrick Corbin. Take a seat. And here comes the other Nolan. Here comes the good Nolan. Surely this ends well. Here comes the good Nolan who hits righty. Might as well walk him here, huh? Yeah, walk him. Set up the double play. But it's spring training. They're not going to do that because <laughs> they don't care enough. Yeah, he's just going to go after him. And there in we play go. runs and Skirt how did he hit that ball? The cutter, man. How did he hit that ball? The cutter. Singles on a ground ball to the left fielder. How did he pull that shit, dude? It's the Arenado special. That cutter is rat meat. <laughs> <laughs> The cutter might have to be retired. Yeah, let's put that oh, in the dude. Not a good way to start the week. Not a good way to start the week, but you know what? Maybe starting the week coming uphill is what we need. Go ahead and put an X right there. Yep, you can go ahead and mark that one off. X, <laughs> bottom left sector. Okay. Corbin, take a year off. Dude, he's like 40 years old. He doesn't have any time to do that. Oh. Yeah, GG. Gross. 0 and 1, sharp report, crabs in my office now. Yeah, that's kick. All right. Javon, we went over the first couple plays here. I think I even talked about Arkansas State as well. Can you take us to Hofstra? So, what you like about them today? Yeah, I like Hofstra. They're playing Stony Brook again, you know, third time this season, like many of these teams. And Stony Brook is coming off of a pretty ridiculous game last night, uh, playing against a, a very physical team and took them to double overtime. Uh, with Drexel, which is a game that ended 91-88, so the one by three. Uh, and this, they really played Hofstra really tough both the times they played, which I think the time they played it at Hofstra when they went on the road was uh, a one-point loss for Stony Brook. And the reason why is because they're really good three-point shooters in both of those games. So that was kind of the point that Stony Brook was able to keep it close against not the best three-point defense for Hofstra. And now coming up with tired legs after that game and, it's not only just a double overtime game they're coming off of and playing back-to-back -back days. It's a double overtime game against a very, very physical team. So I think that's going to take its toll and uh, kind of allow Stony Brook or not allow Stony Brook to take advantage of a perimeter defense like Hofstra is kind of like they were able to in the first two games, which is really their weakness. And on the other side, Stony Brook was able to make things pretty tough inside on Hofstra, and I don't think that's going to be the case because – uh, the one thing that happened on that game, too, on the other side, you had the guards for Hofstra going absolutely ridiculous and getting a lot of volume there. So I think that's only going to help them, again, playing off the back-to-back -back here. Uh, so, I mean, it's there's definitely a reason why they've caught a good bit of steam. I'm not really backing them just because of that because it's clearly for the reason of what happened yesterday. But I think this is a pretty good spot for Hofstra to just beat the shit out of them. Yeah, Hofstra's been on fire to end the season. Not going to sugarcoat it. They've been on Fuego. I like the way they're playing. I like the way they played last night, and I think they get it done today as well, Javon. I'm with you. Yeah. Let me take you to a nasty um, college basketball play as well. The Tommies. Okay, St. Thomas. This team, who would have thought they'd be this good already? Um, gosh, man, only their second or third year, I believe, in D1. Impressive. Now they get a chance to beat San Diego or uh, South Dakota State here um, in, the, in the Summer League tournament insane and we saw the spread open up at one in this spot javon are you kidding me they opened up plus one the tommies brand new d1 squad against the wagons of south dakota state who've got the best player and the best team in this conference 
and they're playing this tournament, I believe, in South Dakota. Are they not? I believe so. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this makes no sense. That opener is super duper weird. I think the Tommy shocked the world here and at least cover. Uh, I'll grab the points, but I thought this was one of the weirdest spreads of the day today. And I like the way that Tommy shoots. And it's not like South Dakota has an elite perimeter defense. So I'll back the Tommy's on the spreads with that insane opener. I'm in for that. I'm sure. in for that. I think it's going to be gross. Weird game. Probably a little lower scoring than people expect. So I'm mm-hmm. kind of in. Um, okay. hoping, hoping this game in Denver is not low scoring. I, I like this over. Which, All right, points. Yeah, not very often do you see, at least as of late, a massive move towards the over when the Nuggets are playing at home because that's where their defense has been fantastic. And, like, yeah, mm-hmm. they're coming off a game where they kind of scored at will. And that game was one of the highest scoring games I think they've had at home, if not the highest scoring uh, this season. But I like this for a couple of reasons outside of that. First of all, I mean, the Raptors right now, not just right now, but period, they match up so poorly with the Nuggets because I, I don't know what they're going to have to do, especially like with Aaron Gordon there, who's probably going to have a pretty good game, and I considered him for my square too. They're running Kelly Olenek at the five right now, which means they're running out four different guards between Gary Trent, Emmanuel Quickly, Grady Dick, and Ochai Baji, assuming he's mm. playing because he's been in and out with injuries, and then they're throwing Chris Boucher in there. So like, I don't know how they match up. First of all, I mean, Jokic is going to eat whatever big they put in there at any given time alive. They don't really have a four to stick on Aaron Gordon, uh, and they don't have anybody that can match the size of Michael Porter Jr. either. So, like, at any point in time, I think the Nuggets are going to score at will. But I kind of think the Raptors keep up a little bit in this game. And uh, part of the reason why is the Nuggets are coming off of, like, a really tough part of their schedule with really big games against really big teams. Like, they just went on the road, beat the Lakers. They had a tough game against the Suns that they had at home. They just took down the best team in the NBA, the Celtics. Like they went through the gauntlet of their schedule. Uh, even you can't really include the Jazz in that, but that's a little different of a game because the Jazz post such a different matchup for them. But now they're kind of coming down to earth against a couple of teams that are uh, should be layups for them. And I don't think it's necessarily going to be that right from the jump. So I think the reason why we're seeing that total move so far up with the Nuggets playing at home and the Raptors going on the road too. Raptors going to keep up a little bit with them scoring wise. Like I think they definitely give a myself a lean to keeping them it, keeping it close in this game and keeping the Raptors close in the spread. But I think we see a lot of points. So I'm so in. Two words, chat points. Yeah. We're gonna have lots of them. All right, keep it simple. Quickly, late addition to the injury reports. Okay. W's. Sure. That's Rita. Appreciate the insight. Love Hofstra. Yes, uh, Javon does too as well. Dead Larry Bird, love to hear that. All right, Christian Wilkins to the Dolphins. That doesn't make sense. Christian Wilkins to the Raiders. There we go. Raiders, that makes I'm sense. Assuming that's what we're getting. Okay, good. Wild. A lot of moves already that we're hearing about today. Excited to see and hear who the Manders pick up. <laughs> um, a lot of great free agents. I mean, man, this is an absolutely stacked free agent class, and I know we'll find a way to fuck it up. So I'm curious to see how we do it. Yeah, I mean, um, it's should a, be DC, any day now. DC is a, a pretty hot destination. A lot, a lot of players want to go there. Yeah, is it? It's where players go to die. <laughs> Literally. It's where players go to freaking die. It's where players' yeah. careers go to end. It's where players go to be the worst version of themselves. It's where players go to stink. It's where players go to be overrated. It's where players go to lose. You need anything else? There we go. No, we go. I think that, that pretty much covers it. <laughs> Who do I want to sign, Krabs? Well, I know that uh, Dan Quinn has talked about Bobby Wagner being the greatest linebacker in the NFL history. And uh, look, I, I mean, he's the greatest linebacker I've ever seen play in my lifetime. He's unbelievable. I would not mind a stab at Bobby Wagner, but that also sounds like a move that we would make, you know, five, 10 years ago that would never work out. So uh, maybe I'm just brainwashed. I don't know. Um, but I would not mind. Did you, forget about, did you forget about Ray Lewis or something? Well, no, not forget about Ray. Uh, okay. but mainly talking about the manners, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Or talking about, you know, the last couple of years. Ray was a little older. But mm-hmm. yeah. And just keep being Ray, also, Ray also had some off the field issues. We don't need to talk, talk about those. About here. No. We don't, those didn't happen, apparently. <laughs> nope, right? they didn't. Nope. Yeah. Insane. Gabe Davis to the Jags is insane. That could be a good move for them. Are they losing some receivers? With Trevor Lawrence as well, are they losing some of these guys? Like, is Ridley a free agent or something? Is this yeah, not think, as big of a deal as we think? Or Ridley's gone. I think that's the deal there. Mm. Bobby Wagner couldn't cover the pass. He's our locker. Well, I don't know, man. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. 
I would not be surprised if we signed Bobby Wagner's. Okay. Three piece. Damn. Gabe Davis was talking a lot of shit after the last season, too, on his Insta story. I feel like those guys shouldn't get picked up. They should have to go play in the XFL. These guys who talk shit about their former teams when it's really just their fault for not being good. Um, those guys should have to go sit out the air and play with the DC Defenders and DJ Swearinger. You know, he's over there playing right now. Is he really playing with Defenders? Swear to God, I saw a tweet him working out with the team in full pads. He had a pick the other day in practice. I Swear to God. I mean, he better. <laughs> yeah, he better. <laughs> he's playing against freaking trash men. Literally, yeah. dudes. Come on. You better fucking get a pick. He's also 40. Let's not forget that. The guy's a fossil. Yeah. He retired like three years ago. It wasn't even last year. Jesus. Yeah, that was crazy. All right. Let me take you to a nasty college basketball play. All right. And, yeah, he is a Cardinals legend. Manders dropped the ball on that. He stunk for us. Shocker. Let me take you to a nasty play. All right. TAMC against your Nichols boys. Very curious to hear your opinions on the spread, Javon. I thought it was weird seeing him open up at plus six and a half. And now seeing him at plus five and a half, four and a half. Some places, Javon, I'm starting to ask some questions. What the hell's going on with this spread? And what's going on with Nichols? Why is Nichols getting disrespected like this? I don't know. I mean, when these guys played a couple of weeks ago, it was an absolute blowout. Nichols beat him by 15. Wasn't even close. Well, I mean, TAMC, they're playing some pretty solid ball recently. I mean, they're coming off of three wins in the last four games. For them, that's like winning the Super Bowl. They've got a pretty good player in Kalen Williams. That's about it. Okay, that's about all that's, go that's good that's going on with uh, Texas A&M Commerce right now, Javon. Why are they getting four and a half, five and a half points? You know, some places, why are they getting this crazy line respect in this spot against Nichols? What's going on with this? Really couldn't tell you. It's definitely a little odd. I will say something that, I mean, I, I don't know if it makes you want to lean on it or not, but they have been pretty decent playing away from home. That's where they've been really scrappy hmm. and picked up a couple of their big time wins. Uh, I mean, not in that building because they got moosed by McNeese, but that's beside the point. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that could be a little bit of the reason why, but still seeing that number and it's probably going to get longer and it already has towards Nichols and it's probably going to continue. But the fact that it was there in the first place is odd. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. And it's not like commerce has been getting crazy line respects this season. They typically don't. I don't understand it. At all. I mean, yeah, they're seven to ten against the spread away from home. I guess that's yeah. pretty good for them. That's good. Okay. When you come be looking compared to uh some of their performances at home, that's definitely significantly better. Mm. Chat, what's going on with that spread? Why are they getting so much respect? I'm willing to pay a unit to find out. Back commerce, back the spread, fade nickels. Seems like the odds makers know something is going on with that game. All right. Demar. Take me to a nasty CBB under that you've got today, Javon. What do you like about Weber State, Montana State, under 140? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I like the under. I think it goes without saying. Mm. I kind of trust in Weber State's defense in this game. And this is also a game that just happened. It was the last conference game for both of these teams, and it actually landed right on 140. So we'll see where it kind of settles here. But Montana State mm. beat them by double digits. Uh, I have a pretty good feeling that Weber State or Weber State's going to try and slow the game down even more because they really let Montana State run for uh, a little bit longer than you would have expected. I went back and saw a couple of that, a couple of bits of that game, but you don't think of either of these teams being particularly fast, but they kind of ran a little bit in transition in that last game, and I don't think in a conference tournament setting that it's going to be necessarily the same. Montana State also shot damn near 50% from three, which against Weber State's defense I don't think is – sustainable especially when you're not playing at home there uh so i think this is going to be a gross one of those like 60s high 50s weber states games that we've seen happen so many times before i'm with you i'm with you and fade that montana state offense this season man they stink they're atrocious they yeah. still get some respect um you know from having guys like raekwon battle in previous years being pretty solid going to the tourney but that team is a shell themselves as soon as they lost their coach uh, this all season and lost Raekwon Battle, they were test. Yeah, for what Absolute it's test. for what it's worth too. In that game, they they lost by twelve at Montana State to close the season. They're minus five and a half, and today they're huh. minus seven and a half in this little tournament setting. So, I mean, I think a lower scoring game obviously favors Weber State. So I'm all in for that. Okay, sure. 
Javon, I want to hear a little bit more about this Duran angle because my prize pick square is already caked. But the people do need a prize picks winner today. Can you let the people know what's good with Jalen Duran? Why do you think he's getting, you know, an absolute triple double machine today? Yeah, so I mean, it's the the simple angle because he's going against the Hornets. Now, everybody mm. knows how poor the Hornets defend the paint. But uh, the reason why I'm one of the reasons why I'm okay going back to it outside of just the matchup being there because a lot of people are going to be on something Duran today, whether it's just his boards or the new Twitter favorite thing is to take his double double because it's priced around you know minus 120 pretty much every day or whatever it is. Uh, he just got ejected in that last game against the Mavs where everybody was also on him because it was a very similar mm. circumstance where uh, Daniel Gafford, and I don't know if Derek Lively played in that game, but if he did, whatever tandem of bigs that the Mavs had for him, it's a similar matchup to where there's really nobody inside that could hold him, and he struggled for a little bit, got in foul trouble, got ejected when everybody was on him. Now we come back in another matchup that looks very, very similar and probably even better. Uh, and I'm going to go down to the grave with this one today that he's going to go off against Nick Richards. All right. Well, I can definitely get behind a, you know, getting ejected and down to the back in your next game angle. hundred yeah. percent. Easy, simple, effective chart. Looks like uh, the under or the less than is a good look here. So I'm definitely down to take his more than right. Good sign here. His chart, his number is super high on his PRA. Probably because he's going to get absolutely nuclear against his shit team in the Hornets who really don't have a big, big time presence, right? I talked about the Wizards being a favorite against the Hornets the other day, right? And the main reason why was because the Wizards, you know, obviously are small and they don't have their centers right now. They're all hurt. But against the Hornets, does that really matter? No, not too much. Um, I think Duran is going to yeah. get whatever the fuck he wants. I mean, and Jesus, you, man. I mean, speaking the, of that Wizards game too, like – I took some squares in that game on both sides. Like I was watching it and the, the main takeaway is exactly what we've been saying for like a month now with the Hornets, like their perimeter defense is not terribly bad. It's just only the interior. Like they were probably, they were doing pretty well at stopping, you know, Kuz and Denny and even Kispert. I think Kispert shot like two for nine or whatever in that game from three. So like they force and funnel you to the inside where they like really struggle. So if they do that today with the Pistons, I mean, it's going to all go through Jalen Darren. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Good luck, Charlotte. You're going to need it straight up. Someone give me the number. I'm betting on the Detroit Ass Pistons. Yeah, well, did you hear Javon? He just said he signed up and voluntarily watched the Wizards game the other night. I did. Yeah, so if he can yeah. do that, you can bet on Duran. Okay, chap. If he can, if he can willingly watch a Wizards basketball game for the completion of it or for the entirety of it, you guys can bet on Jalen Duran tonight. All right, come on. Grow up. We got picks with Deej coming in hot, dropping a subby. Two years. Holy shit. Keep killing it, fellas. W Deej. W Deej. Weesh. I'll even say it right now. Weesh. Go. W Weesh. W Deej. Love to see it. Two years. Great run. All right. Well, that's the sharp report, chats. Crabs, you still like TAMC at plus five and a half? Oh, they're getting some disrespect now on the lines. Oh, no. We're getting some movement. I still like it. I thought that opener at six was short. I'm not worried about it. If it gets bigger than six, six and a half, then I'll start to look uh, other directions, seeing it might be back up to six. Okay. I still like it. Don't love it in one unit. But my favorite play, like I said earlier, would be Arkansas State plus five and a half against the Dukes. As much as I hate to say it, the Dukes are a wagon. But that's going to be a tough game for them. And Arkansas State is playing their best ball this season. I think they could keep that one within possession. Javon, favorite play as of right now from your right sector over there. I mean, I like the Nuggets over quite a bit. Now I'll have to say, as much as I am a, a big Lamar fan for the tournament run, I think New mm. Orleans keeps it close. Ooh. Okay. New Orleans hangs around a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Plus eight and a half. Sure. I'm in. Chat's asking, can we go over the hockey slate today? Javon, you have any hockey angles you're liking on this Monday afternoon? Um. Not many that I love. I will say you mm -hmm. probably take the Caps on the ML. You take the Bruins on the ML. You can profit, but all these games are sketchy. I mean, I, I can't think of a play that's looked easier on the board than the Rangers minus 135. So, I mean, it involves the Devils, mm -hmm. which is the very scary part, even though they have been playing a little better if you've actually watched them in the last couple of games. But, I mean, that's easily the fishiest line on the board, and then the rest of them are just – pretty significant favorites yeah so you want to take a stab at the devils today but you're a little bit worried about putting your actual hard-earned money on the devils 
Is that kind of your conundrum right now? Yeah, I mean, a yeah. little bit. I'm not really scared of doing it because, I mean, they've looked better even in losses since we took them and failed the one time, even though they looked pretty decent in that game. But, mm. yeah, I mean, I think you can you can make a solid argument, or at least I could try to do it for every dog on the slate today. Oof. All right. Dead Larry Bird is saying save your money today. Nothing crazy on the ice. It doesn't seem like you're loving the ice. You want to go over no. to the association? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's good to talk some NBA bets, chat. Why not us? It's good to talk some NBAs. Real quick, though, if you guys are not hip, giving away $100 later today. If you guys like free money, if you like $100 bills, if you like making coins and getting Venmo'd, if you like giveaways, if you like sitting on your ass doing nothing and getting handouts, this could be the uh, you know challenge for you guys. All you got to do is drop a like on this tweet from yesterday on my accounts, and you got to drop a screenshot of yourselves listening to the podcast, the AL, a, ALNL Central podcast we dropped yesterday with POD Pete. All you got to do. All right, we'll send you the link in chats here in a second. All right, gosh, the links are coming in. There we go. All right, um, looks like have over 30 responses already. Holy smokes. All right. I'm going to put this in the private chat for goods. Goods, make the magic happen, brother. Um, and I did drop the link as well with the links to go watch on Spotify and Apple Music right under it if you guys need it. But here's the tweets. All right. We're going to put it right now in the chat. Hurry up. Go, go, go. There it is. Boom. Javon and Pete were locked. I mean, Javon and Pete said 10 things that didn't even cross my brain looking at these teams and the rosters and the new look squads in 2024. And I was like, damn, that actually makes an incredible amount of sense. Yes. Go check it out. All right. Absolutely check it out. Please. I'm going to give out $100 tonight, probably around, I don't know, 8, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but I'm not going to do it until I give you guys a chance to get involved. All right. Drop a like on that tweet and drop a screenshot of your Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube as well um, with yourselves listening to the podcast we just released all right guys dubs we'll do another one as well um with the west teams and maybe get trent involved later this week that'd yeah. be fun you're gonna have to that'd be fun chat 24-hour stream is when we need to get to 5k subs on the youtube so first off go over there and drop a subby hurry up make yourselves useful second off uh trent will be back tomorrow okay so you guys are stuck with me again today on the surge stream it is what it is all right um, I will be on the search stream running that. So please pitch me some plays and some winners so we can keep this train flowing this afternoon. Okay. Thoughts on the Zags game. Yeah, we could talk about those two games, but first we're going to talk about some NBA. All right. We're going to talk some NBA. I'm so pissed that I just lost a thousand dollars on that Patrick Corbin nerfing. It's a crazy way to start the, uh, the week crafts. God damn it, dude. Oh, <sighs> So beats. Take me to the NBA, Javon. You've already talked about it. The Hornets game, right? You like again? You like to play in that game? What about uh, Phoenix and Cleveland? You like any plays in that game? Um, I don't know what to do with that game because seeing a lot of steam towards the Suns because I think uh, Donovan Mitchell is confirmed or getting confirmed out. That's what I would assume is happening with that line because they opened it like a pick up pretty much, and now they're minus six and a half. So I don't want to really go anywhere near the fading the good news there or fading the bad news there. So I will be staying off. All right. Looks like he's confirmed out. Yeah. I would assume that was the case. The six point move pretty much. And there's gotta be somebody out for Dallas tonight, right? Huh? That's why they're only laying four to the bulls. Huh? I mean, you that's, know? that's like typically, the line respect to get. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I've not bet on the Bulls this season. I mean, they have won through the last four games. Yeah, I mean, they've been playing kind of well against decent teams. The Bulls are like, I mean, the Bulls always get respect too. So, I mean, it's a lot of on both sides. They always get it. Mavs usually don't. Hmm. Feels feels normal. Mm. Okay. All right. And then Spurs plus four and a half, but Curry's out. 
right? Crazy. And Wemby's back in. Might be out too. Okay. Yeah, Wemby's back in, and they just beat the shit out of them. So, yep. I cannot give myself to bet on the Spurs as much as it pains me, but I mm-hmm. think I might bet on Devin Vassell. I think he's Spurs. Have, yeah, I okay. think he's going to go crazy today with Wemby back. He's like, all right. It's weird because there's not many guys that you can find with Wemby or like any massive player coming back in that's significantly better, who's like a volume guy, and Vassell is for whatever reason. Dudes, cut the shit. Let's go over to prospects. I got to get my lick back here. Then the cell points. Probably takes PRA. Tapping everything. But what's catching your eye? Well, nothing right now. Um, Here's a thought that's going through my brain. I need to get that fucking $1,000 back or else I'm a bozo. We're betting on the Corbin Murphy. So uh, we've got some work to do. There There are some pretty weird squares on the board. I can tell you there is. I've seen this like three times, and every time it's up here and fully red or even close to it, it just somehow spawns green. Uh, go to go to Grant Williams, Goots. And I don't really love points in that game or really much in the perimeter period, but Grant Williams threes is on the board today. What the? Yeah. Yeah. Might have what? to be done. Why? Why is that up? Why is this happening? Really didn't tell you. Yeah. It's also a demon, yeah. I'm yeah. Right. Hmm. Don't people hate this guy now because he's like still wishing he was on the Celtics and people on his own team new team are like, dude, cut the shit, man. You're on a new team now. They didn't want you there and it's time to move on. And he's like still rocking the Tatum shoes or some shit, and people are like, yeah. you need to want to grow up. Okay. Yeah, he's still stuck in Boston, but he's mm. he's here in Charlotte now. Mm. Well, I'm down to take that square. That's fucking gross. Has That's zero true. business being up on the board. Are there people out for Charlotte today that typically aren't? And that's why we could see Grant Williams taking more reps. I mean, not as as far as I know. I think it's the same relative lineup that they've had for a bit now. As far as I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing the same guys on the freaking injury list from a week ago that I am today, except for McGowan's, Bryce McGowan's. Yeah, that doesn't he's really, new. Doesn't really affect him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they get everybody hurt on that team. Interesting. Yeah. Trey Man, Seth Curry, Lamella, those guys have been hurt. Martin, Williams. God, their team is toast. Holy smokes. Yeah, I mean, part of it's intentional. So, can't really. Mm-hmm. It's guys that they really could have back at some point, but they really don't care to have them back because they would rather keep them. Yeah, they'd rather tank. Yep. Yeah. I'll say it. They'd rather tank. All right. Well, I'm going to take Duran as well, PRA, right? Yeah. Can throw that puppy in there. Were there other weird ones before we get to work? Try to find another puppy or no? Um, I don't think there's any other like glaringly weird ones, except maybe a dunk square. Mm. I Give haven't me seen a- many. I feel like I haven't seen many two and a halfs for like guys well, that are not 100 percent on the board all the time. But Aaron Gordon's up there for, for two and a half dunks, and he is the one Dude. with. Like in that game, definitely the glaring, he's going to be facing a much smaller defender who can't guard him for a second. So I can guarantee there's going to be a lot of opportunities there. Don't really know how to cap Dunn squares. It's a lot of a crap shoot a majority of the time, but I'll take Aaron Gordon something, even if it's not the dunks. That's definitely up because of that crazy dunk he had against Boston the other day. Yeah, probably. Dude. Is. He probably. had he a, a fucking insane behind the back dunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And he had a, he had a put back dunk. Yeah, but that was against Boston. He literally, Jokic literally got interviewed after the game, and they said, did you mean to throw that pass up to Gordon, or was that a shot? You know, it was a pass. It was a pass. <laughs> they literally interviewed him about it after the game, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out on that one. Love the Grant Williams angle, though. Good work. Yeah, the Grant Williams right. is more, more your speed. Yes. Uh, is our soccer goalie playing today, the guy with the Mohawk? No way. We got Guzman be, on the board. They could be a good day with Guzman. He's no, not playing. Monday. He ain't playing. 
right. Chad, any squares you're loving on this beautiful Monday afternoon? Let me know. Okay. A Vassal dunk square is insane. Do they have a Vassal dunk square up? Yeah, it's Vassal green. Uh, Good on that. All right. We got a TK subby as well coming in hot. Bang. 28 months, two years. Ws. Appreciate you, TK. Harry Kane, less than one and a half goals. Oh, sure. Is that up? Is I'm it? not seeing that. I don't think that's Where up. That be? No. Unless it's it's not up, my man. It's not up. Um, false or bro, I literally drop all my straight bets every single day on Twitter for the last three years of my entire life. The most consistent better on earth on that app. If you need straight bets, they would be there every single day, brother. Guys is in here bitching all stream. Like, what are you in here for? But we do have do have a Luca Greenbean on the board. Yeah, but every time I fade this, he has a 800 points. This is, I mean, in theory, not a great matchup for him to score for. Oh, yeah, it's not a great matchup. And the next thing you know, I see him doing 700 spins on the fucking block. Yeah. And, and banking in a fucking beautiful fadeaway. Yeah, he's a you, can't, freak. you can't really fade him. You, you just... can't cover him. You can't fade him. You can't do anything. The guy's a fucking weirdo. He's unbelievable. And he makes the weirdest shots come to life. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, I definitely wouldn't he be fading his, fading his PRA with the streak going on. But the points, the points could be the difference. Javon. The points just could be the difference. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's playing spread him like is, spread is weird. The Bulls, I mean, that's, that's probably not what you want, honestly. But I mean, the Bulls, no, they don't have. Right yeah, I mean, the Bulls defend like pick and roll ball handlers, kind of like the Raptors do. Just minus, I mean, they don't, didn't have Scotty Barnes there, but they're gonna make him pass the ball. It's not gonna be in his hands the whole game. Oh, chat saying crabs. Don't do it. Crabs this, crabs that. Crabs, last time you faded Luca, what happens? Well, to be completely honest with you, last time I faded Luca, it actually smacked. Because I paired with Caitlin Clark and she had a Musha game. And it went less than 68 and a half. They had a combo of 67 points. Unbelievable cash. Yeah. But Luca still dropped a 40 pace in that game. <laughs> he did. I'm trying to see what he did against the Bulls. Still I mean, dropped the 40 pace. Against the Bulls, he played a, a full 40 minutes. He had 18 points first time around. Who's covering him? I mean, you're going to have a plethora of guys on him, which I don't know what they're going to do today. Hmm. Does Kyrie Irving's square look weird? Like, maybe is he going to go off today? He's at 24 points. Maybe. That looks pretty high. Yeah. That looks pretty That's high. Spot. A little high. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do switching Caruso or Io on either one of them at either time, but that is not – I wouldn't be scared of either of those matchups from the Bulls. All right, all right. Luca less than 33 and a half. What else? Give me one more less then. We've got Grant Williams more than one and a half three-pointers made. We've got Jalen Duran more than 20 and a half PRA. We've got Luca less than 33 and a half points. We need one more less then to complete this yeah, four piece. Less than – Yep. It's a great question. Chad, you guys got any less stunts? Let me know. If not, I'm just taking Nico Heishner. Less than three SOGs on the Devils. <laughs> Dude. It's just uncalled for. Or Brock Nelson. How about Brock Nelson less than half a point? I want your bonds eyeballs to see that square. Brock Nelson. Let's go take a look at Brock Nelson. Holy in that shit, shot. dude. Look at it. Look at it. I Chat, mean, look at it. Lord. Look at the square. Brick Nelson, huh? We expecting plenty of goals in LA tonight, huh? Yeah. That is, mm -hmm. if you had to pick out, like, probably the most obvious under on the board. And I take that back. It's probably Caps Jets, but Islanders Kings is not far behind. So you don't like this square? I mean, it's not that I don't like it, but do that Timo. 
That's a, that's a demon, though, isn't it? Is it a demon? Yeah, it probably is. It's a goal square. Yeah, it is. Well, I'll go ahead and take Brock D. Last time. Half a point. All right. Sick in the head. It's probably what's going to have to be, Javon. It's going to come down to Brock D. Less than half a point here. Fair. Unless you got yeah. any other less than. Dan Quinn signs another Cowboy. Who? 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 Tell me who. Need it. Absolutely need it. Please. All right. Chat, slow Monday today. The board stinks. It is what it is. Um, we got Armstrong. Wow. Hmm. And we got this fucking dude. Oh, I could act like I know this guy off the top of my head. Was this guy ripping center for them last season? That's not a bad signing. That's a, a pretty solid one for the Manders. What are they building in there? Wisconsin alum. How old is this guy? Do we know? Is he young? Is he old? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell you that. I'm off the top of my head. Chat's going to have to fill us in. Cowboys fan in chat well. That's a that's a solid, like, first little building block for a new line, though. He's 26. 26. Yeah. Word. I mean, dude, we had a really good center chase, really, Ed, but he's, he's been so fucking hurt. We're done with him. We're, we're moving on. Um. All right. Left hand up. Who are we? I like that move. Damn, as a Cowboys fan, that sucks. Love to hear that, be bets. Love to hear that. Okay, Ooh, left hand up as always. Man, your Super Bowl run. Sure. What if I told you it's a potential very weird line that I see on the board? Give me. Nuggets are massive favorites. High total. You know how Jamal Murray, I think you faded him one time in a yeah, week. He landed on Thursday. 22. He's been sitting at that 22 and a half for like a handful of games and playing the Mushi Raptors. And he's at 22 flat now. It's gone down half a point, which in my mind makes sense because the Raptors are small as shit and Jokic and Aaron Gordon and MPJ are all looking to grub, but usually mm. it's not incredibly accounted for when you're 15 point favorites with a pretty high total against the Musha defense. And he's coming off of a 37 piece against the Jazz when they scored 140 points in the game. Hmm. I like those words coming out of your mouth. That could be the difference. Looking to see if I like that total in that game. I mean, the total's up six points in that game. What the fuck? I know. I like the over. I just don't think it's going to be Jamal Murray. I think it's going to be MPJ, Aaron Gordon, Jokic. I think all the bigs feast because the Raptors have nobody to match up with them, but they do have guys to match up with Jamal Murray, size-wise at the least. Hmm. Jokic assists red. That scares me a little bit too, but. Okay. Would you say you like that? The chances of Jamal Murray going less than 22 points more than you like Fade and Brock did? I mean, I just would say I'm a little more in tune with NBA squares than hockey squares. Yeah. And let's not kid ourselves. Fade and those NHL squares that are green as shit never fucking never works. I mean, yeah. Ever. You got to like really pick spots with that one. Never works. All right. I'll swap it in with Jamal Murray, less than 22 points. I'm down. I'm in. Chat for peace on prize picks. This is how I'm getting the Patrick Corbin coins back on this Monday afternoon. Grant Williams, more than one and a half three-pointers made. Jalen Duran, more than 28 and a half PRA. That's Javon's sharp report square of the day. And then I'm taking two less thens. Surely Fade and Luca should be a good look. Less than 33 and a half. And Jamal Murray, less than 22 points. All right, chat. Nasty four piece. This is how I get my rack back. All right. I'm putting 200 bucks on it to win two racks. And I'm going to be up coins on prize picks today when this four piece max. All right. W's chat. It's about that time. We got three minutes and we've got a squad ride to cash. Goots, run that shit. All right, Javon. We owe the people a winner on this beautiful Monday slate. All right, the, the card, it's not loaded. It is what it is. We still got to find the people a winner. All right, I yeah. think we Arkansas State plus five and a half, and we move from that. Yep. Definitely, yes. Good. Make sure the spread is the same. 
Arkansas State, plus five and a half. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, we're in. What else, Javon? Um, I mean, I definitely like the Nuggets over quite a bit. 231 and a half. Massive move with them as a big favorite. Raps can't match up. I think they can keep up on offense, though. Over 231 and a half? Yeah. Good. I'm in. Dubs, let's see what else we got to work with here. I, I like that Hofstra bet. I like the New Orleans bet as well. Either of those two you like better than one or the other? I mean, Plums definitely say New Orleans. That's just a scary-ass position to take because they could easily lose by 40. But I think they keep it close. So can any bet. Let's lock it in. Also true. New Orleans plus eight and a half. I'm in for that. I'm in for that. All right. Goods. We could keep it simple today and keep it to three plays, you know, with how Moose's slate is. Or we could reach a little bit here and maybe go with, you know, that under in Weber State, Montana State that I liked. Yeah, I mean, you take the reins, you can see in the board a little better. You say, put in what's what's screaming at you from the plums, if anything at all. Weber State, Montana State under 140. You know I'm in for that. All right. Let's see if we can get one more geyser in here. Um, it's probably going to be the Tommies. Sure. I'm confirming. Yeah, it's going to be the Tommies. Same Thomas. Plus three. Chad, five plays, five winners. All right, you've got three minutes to lock in. Your favorite play of the day today for the squad rides. All right, click the winner. Don't click the most exciting play. Don't click the play that looks the coolest. Don't click the play that your buddies are taking. All right, just click the winner. Keep it simple. All right, chat. Five plays, five winners. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. You've got to get your voted for the squad ride here, chat, before we get the surge stream fired up. Arkansas State plus five and a half. That's my favorite play today. We've got the Denver Toronto over 231 and a half. Sounded like Javon very confident in that puppy as well. We've got New Orleans plus eight and a half. We've got Weber State, Montana State, under 140. And we've got the St. Thomas Tommies. Sure. Plus three. Five plays, five winners, chat. Hurry up. Get your votes in. I want to see you scream. Hurry up. Get your plays in there. People, people do sleep. We do have Wagner Mary Mac part three for the neck championship tomorrow. And that will be yeah, dude. tapped. Upstart. I'll be so Upstart. tapped into that. Get a half to bet. Get a half to bet. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get a highlight tape going from that first uh, mid-major conference pod because there were so many angles we had, even talking about Longwood and how they're always you know, a problem in these tournaments and them coming through and winning that championship. Crazy. Um, yeah. A lot of calls we had from that first one. And, guys, we're going to drop another one this week for the Power 5 conferences and some of the better mid-major conferences starting up this week as well. So stay posted. Stick with us. Okay. Had some great calls on the first college basketball conference tourney pods. Let's see how we can do on the second one. If you missed out on the first one, you missed out on free money. Plain and simple. Okay, don't miss out on the second one. At least check it out and check out the descriptions and see if you can skip around to some of the games or tournaments or conferences and see if there's a future for you. Okay? Yeah. Please. Guess Maybe. the boys don't want to talk about this Ags game. Suspects. I mean, yeah, I don't want to talk about this Ags game. What really? the hell are we going to bet in that game? Don't have anything to say. What are we going to take in that game? I'm not taking either of those fake sharp dogs. I'm not taking San Francisco, who's been really good and is getting disrespect on that line. I'm not taking, um, you know, San Diego on the other end either. The Toros, who have been out playing on their minds, I'm not taking them either. So here's my opinions. Lay with the two favorites and go about your day. Okay? Yeah. Very happy. We get this over in Denver and Toronto. Cashing for the squad ride. Good. I think that was our favorite play. Best play of the day today available. All right, Javon? Yep. Love that. Love that. Chats, if you want to win $100, you can go over and check out the tweet I posted last night and drop a like and a screenshot of your Spotify or Apple Music and potentially win 100 bones from me later today. So go check that out, please, will you? Okay, and stick around. We got the surge stream starting up here in one minute. 
Come pitch me a play. Give me a winner. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Rumor has it Trent will be back tomorrow. We'll catch you guys. Peace.